Hi everyone, my name is Craig Campbell, a member of the product training team here at General Motors of Canada. My goal today and over a series of additional, more in-depth videos is to walk you through our great new Color Touch family of radios that I know you're really going to enjoy using. While you can do a lot with them, they are very intuitive and they're very easy to use. So if you're the kind of person that loves all the new technology that's available to us, this family of radios will be perfect for you. But it is the same if you're just the kind that wants to listen to your favorite AM or FM radio station and answer the occasional phone call. It is sure to satisfy everyone as, again, it's very easy to get used to, and I'm going to prove that today. Now, all members of the radio family feature a high-resolution color touch screen that will be either 7 or 8 inches, depending on the vehicle, with very large, easy-to-look-at icons. Uh, and they look a lot like the apps on a smartphone or a tablet like an iPad. Now, just one touch of those large icons, and it simply activates a feature or opens up another menu screen. Now the really nice thing is that there's actually a few different ways that you can access most of the features on this system. You can go right to the color touch sensitive screen or you can use a lot of the redundant control buttons below the screen in the center faceplate. You can also use the steering wheel mounted radio controls for a lot of the features which also enables you to essentially talk to your vehicle with a number of very intuitive voice controls. But so far, I find that a lot of people use a combination of all three. And the nice thing is everybody uses it a little bit differently. Once you start to play with this system, I know that you're going to do some things a little differently than what I do as well. And that's totally okay. With the three different ways that you can do things, you're going to pick up what is easiest and most intuitive for you. And I think that that's the beauty of this new infotainment system. It's very easy, very user friendly for everyone. Now let me give you a little orientation tour of this touch screen first and then we'll really start to understand what I mean. Now I'm going to start with the back button um, and that's right in the top of the touch screen. Now if you touch something by accident or you simply want to go back to where you were before or a second ago, that back button will actually bring you back one level or screen. And no matter where you are on any screen, that back button in the top left, it will always be there for you. So you don't have any fears. If you touch something by accident, no problem. Now the next button over from the back, it actually says home and that brings you right back to the main home page and that's your main area for your selections. Now no matter how deep you are in a menu, that home button on the top there is your quick way to get back to the home page. It too is always there for you when you're within any of the different screens. Now the next one over is one that you should recognize. It says favorites or FAV. Now this shows the different favorites buttons and it pops up down on the bottom there and it's all your usual favorites, your, your top selections for your radio stations and so on. Now moving over to the top right of the screen, it may be a little tough to see there but there are some icons that you can see a status. Now these are not touch buttons but they do tell you a lot. They'll tell you if something is active or not, which is perfect for making sure that your Bluetooth is enabled, that the phone, when you get into the vehicle, it connects automatically, and you can tell just by looking at the little Bluetooth symbol in the upper right. Now, you can see some buttons to toggle back and forth between the home pages when there, there's more icons, and right down the bottom there it says more. That allows you to move on to extra icons that didn't make it onto your main home page. Again, just one press and you can see that it toggles back and forth so you can see all of your different icons. Now, next up, we're going to take a look at the main part of the screen where all of those large touch sensitive icons are placed. Essentially, as I mentioned earlier, that's your home screen. But one point that I want to remind you on again is how intuitive and easy to read they all are. So even if your eyes are not as good as they used to be for reading, you will not have a problem looking at this screen. Again, very large icons, big pictures, and that means that you won't be distracted while you're driving. Now the first icon that I want to point out is the now playing icon. Now I use that one a lot because it actually brings up a very large and easy to read full screen about what is currently playing on the radio. And right now I'm just listening to one of the local radio stations here. 
Um, it'll also, if you were listening to your USB, uh, your iPod, or anything like that, it would have your full song title and your artist all listed right there. Now remember that back button? Again, on the top left there, one press, and it actually brings you back to that main screen. Now looking at all of the other icons on the screen, you can see how easy it would be to select FM or XM or AM or even uh, your, your Bluetooth audio or any of the different things. It's all right there, one big icon and one touch away. Now the cool thing about this screen is that you can actually customize it as well. Now we're going to cover that in a different video, but if you decide that you don't want to renew XM or maybe you never connect anything with your auxiliary input, you can actually turn these off so that they don't show up on your main screen. Now another easy to use button is the audio settings or the tone button. Now this actually gets you to a lot of the usuals like uh, bass and treble and so on. That's how you kind of customize your sound so it's right for how you like it. Uh, again, just one easy up and down and you can set it exactly how you want your sound to be and that's all the usuals that you normally set up in a radio. Once you get in here and you have it exactly how you like it, don't forget, you can just press that home button at the top or you could have pressed back. Again, it's very easy to use to bring it back to that main screen. Now next up is the settings or the configuration button. Now that's the one here just says config on this option. But again, this one is also very intuitive and, and, and it tells you everything right in front of you. Very easy to use language. Now here you can change things, again, like the languages itself, the, the time and the date, uh, the radio settings, and a lot more. Now we're going to cover a lot of these different things in some other videos, but you can get into the various vehicle settings um, so that you can set up a lot of the uh, uh, power door locks, comfort, convenience, lighting, and all the different options that are there. Again, one touch of the screen and it's real easy to do. Remember, this isn't just a radio. It is a fully integrated communications and control panel for your vehicle. We just kind of made it very nice looking and very easy to use. Okay, now remember I mentioned that a lot of the controls and the features can be activated a number of different ways. Now I just walked you through some of the basics of the touch screen and we'll come back to these uh, in some more videos. But let me give you a quick view of the actual physical buttons down below on the faceplate below that screen. Now, does anything look familiar here? Yep, there is a favorites button uh, on that lower faceplate that allows you to bring up any of your favorite radio stations down the bottom. There's also a source button right next to that that allows you to move through the various sources like AM, FM, XM, CD, and so on. And there's also the usuals like the seek for going backwards and forwards throughout any tracks that you might have. Uh, that'll also change if you have your iPod connected. It allows you to go through the various MP3s that you have loaded there too. Now there's also a play and a pause button located kind of in that, right in that same area uh, to allow you to pause anything if you're in the drive through or wherever you might be. Now look over to the right a little bit here. There's also a home button, much like the version that we saw on the touch screen. One press of that home button brings up the overall home screen. Now, just next to that is my favorite. It's that back button, and it works just like the one that I showed you up on the screen. And that's the one I tend to use quite often because it's easy to touch. Now, there's also a configuration button just below that, and that allows you to get into all of those different configurations that we showed you earlier on so you can really personalize this vehicle. And all you have to do is just use the menu or that select button here and you can actually scroll to move through your choices and then if you want, push the button in and it allows you to make your selection. It's really that easy. Now I do find myself alternating back and forth between the touch screen and the buttons below the screen and it really depends on what I'm doing. Uh, but back to the point I made earlier, it doesn't matter. Whatever is easiest to reach at the time is the one that you're going to use. Now there's also some steering wheel control buttons that put a lot of the features right at your fingertips. Now this top button here is how you initiate a voice command or how you answer an incoming call. Just press it and say hello if the phone call is coming in. 
Now the end call or the mute button, that's right below that voice button, it will actually allow you to end that call that you're on or reject the phone call and send it off to voicemail if you don't have time to answer it right now. Now if you're not on a call, that button there will mute your speakers, which is perfect for when you're in the drive through getting your morning coffee. Now the button to the right of that is your source button. Just press it and you will actually select through the active sources. Again, like AM, FM, or maybe your USB drive, for example. Push the button up or down and that will actually scroll through your favorite stations or move you to the next song in your playlist. And of course, there are the volume controls right next to that to turn your radio up and down and also to turn your phone call volume up and down as well all while keeping your hands on the wheel and your eyes on the road. Now, while we're going through a lot of the setup and the features and some separate videos, I know that you can already see that this is a very intuitive and easy system to get to know. While it does have a lot of features to it, every one is right there at your fingertips, whether you're using the touch screen, the controls below, or your steering wheel controls. Plus, if you just want to sit back and listen to the radio, you're never going to be questioning how to do it. Just one press and you're all set. So please, join us by watching the rest of the videos in this series so that you can really get to know General Motors' new family of touchscreen radios. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.